Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In this video, we're gonna show you guys how to view and analyze event logs in Windows Server 2025. Before we get started with today's video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're here on my Windows Server 2025 domain controller. Uh, this is the primary Windows Server installation that I use for demonstration on the channel. So let's go ahead and get started with the event viewer. And we can access this by hitting Windows key and R together on the keyboard. And let's type in event VWR, short for viewer, dot MSC. And that's going to bring us to our event viewer. Um, so this is what it looks like. Looks pretty similar to most of the other menus in Windows Server. I'm just dragging these little separators here to give me a better view of the navigation panes. So this is the main tool for log analysis in Windows Server that are used by admins. The first thing we'll want to do is understand the main categories. So on the left-hand console tree, we can expand, let's say, Windows Logs to start with. Uh, we're going to see application security system setup and forwarded events. So just spending a little bit of quick time on this. Uh, these are logs from application. So we could see things on here like SQL Server. Um, and I can just scroll down here. We can see the source and also the event ID and task category. Most of these are going to be logons in my case. And then below that we have security. Uh, here we're going to see logons, log offs, we're going to see account management and auditing as well. And just scrolling through, you can see the differences here. We have event log or Microsoft Windows. We can see what the category for the task is on our right hand side. We can also see the event ID. Now below that we have setup. Setup is going to show us our logs that are uh, related to setup events. So for example, Windows updates or uh, roles and features installations. Now at any time, I can actually click on an individual one and it's going to show me a, a brief description here. So selectable update licensing UI of package licensing role UI was successfully turned on. Bit of a tongue twister there. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and see what the first thing is. So this is telling us that an NPSA role of package. Okay, we've got some other ones. Now we could also do the same thing for security and application logs. This is generally gonna give us more information. We have details in general where we'll find that description and the same thing for applications here. Okay, we're gonna see a failed login attempts too, like we saw right here. And then finally we have forwarded events, uh, which I'm currently showing nothing for. So that's kind of a gist on how to navigate through the Windows logs. We can right click and select event properties, and that's gonna do the same thing as if we just double clicked into it. So we can, again, pull up our properties for each log event by just simply double clicking into it. But beyond that, we do have filtering and finding capabilities as well. So let's go ahead and try filtering. We can right click on, for example, applications. So let's try filtering on security. Right click and let's do filter current log. And then from here, we're gonna be able to filter by the event level, for example. We could also filter by specific event ID. So, you know, if we wanted to look at all the events that shared this ID, we could do that. Let's try to filter for warnings. And then we could actually take this a step further. So if I go into the filter here, filter current log, we could do warning and then we could also specify a specific date range. So let's say log within the last 30 days. Okay, now we're getting a much smaller return here. And so we could take a look at each of these warnings. Notice that the details are also available directly below if we just highlight it. And this is showing us that the device is not ready for this right here. Now let's talk a little bit more about interpreting events. We can clear a filter at any time by right clicking and hitting clear filter, which brought this all back up. So I can interpret events a few ways, some of which we already talked about. We're going to see a logon ID. We're going to see a security ID. We're going to see the event ID itself. And then if I double click into this, and then if I scroll down in here, I have some additional settings that I can view, like signature and hypervisor settings. And then user, there's a box for user, which is helpful as well. And then we'll see other data like our computer name and keywords and such. If we use the details tab at any time, this is going to show us the XML view for advanced information. So if I click over to the XML view, this is really good for automation or exporting. Now, 
We've spent the majority of this video so far underneath Windows logs. We also have custom views. This is gonna be accessible for administrators only. And what we're able to do here is to define filters such as critical or error across systems or application logs. So I could do that by clicking under administrative events. And here we have our own little custom section. And like I said, this is defining the filters like uh, critical or error across system. So this could be uh, very useful as an administrator. This is basically a one-stop dashboard for important issues. Now, if we want to do some exporting, we do have some options for that. So let's start, for example, in our security. I can right-click on this. And then inside of uh, any particular event, I can right-click. And then I can simply hit Save Selected Events. And then here we have Event to Files. EVTX is basically an event viewer file. We also may want to do XML or CSV if we need uh, some reporting or analysis. So I can do a single event like I did here, save selected events. I can also do that from here, save all events. So I can export all the logs. So the highest level that I can do that is per category. So I could do application, security, setup system. Uh, I can export all of these events. Now we could also create a filter so for example, if I want to export from the last 30 days, let's define our filter. Here I can select the top one. Okay, and then if I wanted to export that with the filter, I could right click on at the system level here, right click and save filtered log file as. And then same thing for administrative events, we can save all events as, and then we can do the various different file types here. All right, and this is a uh, look at our event viewer inside of Windows Server. We hope this was helpful for you guys. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to know what those are. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.